back. Yes, you don't have to spell it out if it is phonetic. Well, our scores in this game uh, are at an exciting point. Peter is on 35. Ryan is on 42. There's been some great scoring so far. It's anybody's game at the moment as we head into our last rounds. Final letters. Uh, Peter, would you choose? OK. Lily, I'd like to start with the consonant. Thank you. K. And a more favourable consonant. I will try. T. OK. And one more. L. OK, I'll switch to a vowel. U. Another vowel. I. And one more. A. OK, I will switch back to a consonant. G. Another one. C. And I will finish with a vowel. And last letter. O. Thinking time. the K at the beginning of the mix, but uh, how did you like the mix eventually? I found a five. A five for you. And uh, Ryan? Ah, uh, yeah, five as well. Five as well. Let's start with yours. Ah, uh, gloat. And yours, Peter? Logic. Logic. And I guess that's a good answer, though. <laughs> it's a good answer, yes. But logic doesn't always win out. It actually gets uh, shares the points with five. Good gloat, good logic. What uh, did you do here? <laughs> One of our favourite rodents on this show, Richard, and that's the agouti. <laughs> uh, it's that rabbit-sized, ratty-looking thing that loves sugar cane in Central America. Well found. I'm glad that you came up with that one. Well done to Peter and Ryan too. Five points each. We've had perfect scores on the numbers so far. Let's see if we can keep the record consistent with this final numbers game. Ryan, you to choose. Uh, Lily, I'll try one large and five small again, thanks. Thanks, Ryan. One large, five small. Last numbers for tonight. Four, nine, four, three, five, and the large is 75. The target to reach is 310. Thank you, Lily. Let's head there. keep our record intact. Did you uh, get to 310? Uh, yeah, 310. I thought you did. Peter? Yes, I got 310 as well. Excellent. Well done. Well, you chose, Ryan, so uh, t tell us what you did. Yep, OK. Uh, 4 times 75 is 300. 4 by 75 is 300. Uh, 9 plus 4 is 13. 9 plus 4 is 13. Um, so add that on as 313. Yep. And minus the 3 is 310. Minus the 3 is 310. Well done. So, nice method. Well done, Ryan. Right on target. Peter, same way? Uh, slightly different. Slightly different. You don't have to scrape okay. the books across the desk. That's good. I started off with 4 times 75 equals 300. Yep. Um, but then I added 9 plus 5 minus 4 to get the 10. 9 plus 5 uh, minus 4 is 10. And add the 10 to the 300. Add that on to the 300 gives you 310. Very nice as well. Right through that target. Well, I suppose you did it just completely differently, Lily. No, actually, I used Peter's method. <laughs> I suspected maybe one of those two. Great result, and certainly perfect scores once again for Peter and Ryan. Ten points each. So, Peter on 50, Ryan 57. So, with just seven points between them and ten points at stake in this final round, we are going to have, at the start of this week, a conundrum decider. Let's reveal tonight's conundrum. Your time starts now. Ryan, what do you think it is? Um, is it novelist? 
I'm afraid that's not correct. So I'm going to restart the clock and Peter, you have the remaining time. Yes, Peter. Violinist. Violinist is correct. Let's check on the screen, but I'm sure that he's done it. Yes, he has. And so, with those extra 10 points, bringing his score to 60, our winner tonight is Peter. But well done, Ryan. That was uh, a nail-biting finale, and uh, we thought for a moment you might have got it. It's back and forth, so great try. And I suppose, as a statistician, what are you going to make of those scores? Pretty good? 60, 57? Yeah, it's not too bad. I think oh. it's not too bad at all. That is great scoring on this game. And, of course, uh, a Macquarie Dictionary for great. you to take away. Thank you. Peter, well done. That was uh, the buzz that made all the difference right at the end. Thank, thank so you. So we look forward to seeing you back in the champion's chair tomorrow night. OK, thank you. Well, it was a very high-scoring game tonight, David. A great match. But uh, just harking back to that last word mix, phonetic. Well, of course, phonetic is not phonetic. It starts with PH. And it's up there with WWW, which should be short, but it's not. It's just one of those weird contradictions. You're just going to have to sort out this language. <laughs> See you tomorrow night. See you then. And actually, Lily, I noticed uh, 57, Ryan's score. Well, that's your lucky number. I know. Well, it wasn't so lucky for Ryan, though, was it? <laughs> no, I know, but it made him a winner in your eyes, it I'm was. sure. See you tomorrow night, Lily. So, as we leave you for this Monday night... A reminder to visit our website, sbs.com.au forward slash letters and numbers for all the details that you need to become a contestant on the show. Registrations are open now and we would love to see you. We will be back at the same time tomorrow night. Until then, good night.